Well, here we are. I'm actually on the boat. Paul has been and looked at it with his other half, Carol. And of course, they've uh, gone to think about it. Uh, and so I'm doing what I should have done before. And I'm taking lots of pictures um, to show people what the boat looks like on Kijiji, where I have it advertised. Every time I'm on the boat, I think, um, what a heartbreaking decision it is to, to have dreamt of it and actually bought a boat and now not have what it takes to see it through. Oh, if only I had uh, someone to sail it with me. Um, I think that's the whole thing. I think it's 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 purely uh, a confidence thing, and I uh, I really don't mean to uh, to make that as an excuse, but it's all I've got. Uh, I've been on the boat for a couple of hours today and uh, filled it up with gasoline. And uh, Paul and I got the sails up. And uh, of course I wasn't filming, which I should have been. Both the sails are lovely, in lovely condition. They both went up without any trouble. We just we just put them up on the dock here. Um, frankly, um, Paul really wanted to go out, but I checked the fuel level in the in the fuel tank and it was down just above the empty. And I just thought if we go out and have any issues, We've got no fuel uh, to get back, and you know. So I, uh, I said, look, Paul, I'd really rather not. But now I have filled up the tank. If I just had, had someone to come out with me, I would love to. Uh, I think. Go out again. And have another go at berthing it. And, and see if my confidence could be lifted somehow. But if I put my hand on my heart, I still think uh, the realisation has hit me that this is not the boat for sailing off to Mexico or the Bahamas or anywhere else in. It's not designed for that. Everything I've looked up online reviews etc etc say the cow 227 is not really designed for that i mean here it's absolutely lovely if i lived in saint john then i'd just be able to come to the boat every day spend an hour go out sail around the bay it's beautiful here but i don't live in saint john it's a four hour round trip drive for me to come here spend a few hours on the boat go back and of course, now I'm working more than I was working. So I get a couple of days off, then I have to go back to work. And I get a couple of days off, then I have to work a couple of days. Um, so the thought of like coming over on a Monday, as I had planned initially, and then spending five days going for a sail somewhere and back to see if I could actually go out and come back. I still think um, that would be more doable if I had somebody to help me. Um, I'm trying my best to be sensible here. Um, a part of me wants to just throw some water and some dried food on this thing and just go. But I have to be realistic. Um, I have my car parked on the in the car park at the marina here. Um, it's my pride and joy, my Focus RS. What am I going to do? Just leave it there? Um, Ford eventually would find it, I guess, or somebody would steal it or something. Um, I have an apartment that I'm supposed to be moving into on October the 1st. I mean, this is all completely unrelated to sailing and the boat. I'm just trying to get out there to anybody who watches this, what my state of mind is. And this is why I made such this huge mistake of buying a sailboat. Um, just, you know totally confused kind of stupid ideas head on um, don't get me wrong if I had a hundred grand and I could buy a boat that I really could live on with a bathroom and uh, the equipment necessary to go and just sail to the Bahamas I, th I think I would I, um, I'm not worried about the sailing aspect of the boat although I probably should be 
I'm worried about my ability to take care of the boat on my own. Do the stuff that's necessary. I don't really have the know-how. and Maybe I'm a little too old to learn. I don't know. I, um, for all my bravado, I'm, uh, I've just run out of cojones. Uh, and that's basically all I can put it down to. My decision making has not been right since, um, you know, the other half pulled the plug, so to speak. But, you know, I'm just trying to uh, be as real as I can. I was watching a video yesterday by a guy called Josh Prost. And he's been, or Prost, and he's been trying to sail to the Bahamas and had to turn around and come back. Because he couldn't make any headway against the current with the wind. And he was in bits, you know, making a piece to camera with tears streaming down his face. And I understand totally um, what he's talking about. Um, you really, he hasn't had any sleep for days and days on end. Because he's terrified to shut his eyes with the boat in the middle of nowhere. And that's exactly how I would feel. Now if anybody watches this, um, feel free to leave comments. I'm sure I'll get some about you know, what's the matter with you? Where's your bottle gone, man up? Yeah, I understand totally. But uh, I'm just trying to say how it feels. And uh, and once again, do a little, uh, just a little shoot round of my of my boat that should have been Miss Daisy. That's my solar panel on the V-Birth up there. Uh, and of course, I had plans to uh, to put that on top of a Dodger. It does have a little... Uh, a little alcohol stove here and it has a sink and a water pump and uh, it has a head down there and um, there's a sink behind this door can't really see it very well I haven't got any lighting on or anything but yeah with a door that closes here and you can actually stand up I'm five ten and a half and look how much headroom I've got above me so a six footer can stand up in here which is one of the best aspects of a Cal 227. Well, that's it. I've gone way over the time I was going to do <laughs> reality check videos with uh, Sailing Miss Daisy. That's it for now. Bye all.